Welcome to Dai Headlines. I'm Anthony Carlyle. Thank you for joining us. Winter has officially arrived in the Northern Hemisphere and Suji volunteers in the US and Canada have been busy carrying out their annual winter distributions for homeless people and low-income households. In Vancouver and Toronto, Suji distributed aid and provided hot meals for care recipients, while in San Francisco, volunteers introduced the culture of Suji while delivering winter supplies. Despite the economic slump, Suji volunteers prepare elaborate meals for their care recipients. Before enjoying the delicious food, volunteer Chen Xueling reminds everyone of Suji's philosophy. Remember that, mom, I always speak the good words, and let our mind always think the good thought. Okay? Remember that? Your mind always think the good thought. and then gives care recipients a pop quiz. Apart from patiently teaching the words of wisdom, volunteers also perform the sign language song, The Universal Three Notes, hoping through the music the street people can understand that despite their difficult lives, there are still people who care for them. homeless shelter, residents line up to receive blankets and clothes. Some are intrigued by the city loco on the blanket. Others rub it against their faces to fill with softness and warmth. And this African-American lady is overjoyed by the gift. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Learning how to pronounce Suji, the name would also be imprinted in her heart. Also busily carrying out a winter aid distribution are Canadian city volunteers. The power-up supplies include toothpaste, toothbrushes, gloves, woolen hats, socks, lotion, blankets and other necessities. Volunteers in Richmond, Vancouver begin their three-day winter distribution for low-income households hoping to meet their most urgent needs. At the East Richmond distribution site, residents happily receive their supplies one by one. Over at West Richmond, where the distribution is held outdoors, volunteers delivered hot tea for residents who are lining up in the cold. Moved by volunteers' kindness, some residents even offered to donate at the Bamboo Coin Bank section. Further to the east in Toronto, where the temperature has dropped to below zero, city volunteers distribute aid supplies and provide hot meals in a local church for the increasing number of homeless people. For Chou Yuting, who just migrated to Canada three months ago, this is her first time to participate in a soup kitchen. Tai Tongxi is only in town to visit his family, but also utilizes his time to contribute. No matter where they are in the world, the winter aid distribution is a regular event carried out by city volunteers every December. The volunteers hope through their service they might add some warmth to the bitter winter as well as bring some hope for the new year.